you guys. It's me. I'm back with doing readings. Um, you're going to hear me cough, so still know that I'm still recovering, but I'm feeling the energy come back and I'm totally getting back in reconnection with spirit and things are clearing in a beautiful way. And so, all right, let's do our weekly energy check-in for Twin Flame Soulmates, High Level Connections. Remember to take these readings with a grain of salt. Remember that you are to not attach to readings and to use them to know where the energies are, to help you evolve past where you are in your journey. Okay, and that's what I encourage is to know energies, to know the energy discernment, and to utilize those energies to help you grow. Okay, and not become attached. All right, so let's get started. Whew. <clears throat> Already feeling the heat rise through me. Who already starting to sweat? So this is good. Spirit, I've already smudged, I've cleared. Oh, guys, I'm so happy to be back. Let's take a look. We're going to be getting some regular content out. I'm also going to be opening up for readings. I'm hoping in the next month. Um, so if you guys do want to do readings with me, um, I open them up every now and then. Um, that will be coming out soon. Let's take a look and see what's going on with Divine Masculine right now, Spirit. What is going on with Divine Masculine, Headspace, Heartspace, Actions, and Outcome, please? What is going on with Divine Masculine in his Headspace? What is going on with Divine Masculine in Headspace? He's looking at miracles right now, guys. Okay. Looking, and this card is really beautiful because this is about self-esteem. It is the um, solar plexus energy right? Confidence, that energy that Kundalini is rising up is what I'm getting. It's starting to see the light in the dark. Something, a flame has been lit. <coughs> All right, let's take a look at feelings. What's going on with the heart space of the Divine Masculine for the collective, please? What's going on? Thank you. Confusion. So there's still some confusion in regards to his heart space. Um, that's coming in with the energy discernment aspect, guys, that I'm getting. Spirit is is very similar to what I'm going through my transition like after COVID and everything and trying to gain an understanding of these new energies that are coming in in his heart space. In actions, we have, look at this, soulmate, what is going on in outcome spirit? Definitely thinking of divine feminine, okay? Looking at instincts that are happening right now. All right, guys, this is awesome. Let's do soul. I'm just going through all my decks here. I've just reorganized them, so give me a moment to find... Where spirit is pulling me to we're going to take a look at divine counterparts and separation to clarify each placement and then we'll pull some tarot we'll see what is going on with divine masculine right now guys don't forget to hit a like and a subscribe and comment down below um if you want to work with me all the info is down below um yeah <laughs> I'm still healing, but I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm glad to be back. Oh my God, you guys, I can't even. So these came out um, with the Divine Masculine here saying that he wants to manifest something. He thought that there were plenty more fish in the sea and spying on the Divine Feminine. So we're going to take those in the order that they came out. And one more. His instincts. There are dramatic changes in my life right now. So this Divine Masculine is really kind of going through the brunt of it, y'all. Um, I'm just going to move those up higher. Um, this Divine Masculine wants to manifest this miracle here. That's really what's happening here. Gaining the self-confidence and the self-esteem to do this. Realizing that the confusion of a third party, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Um, thinking, leaving you out as an option and feeling that. Knowing that it created a lot of confusion. So this discernment part that this Masculine is what I'm feeling from the beginning Spirit is saying that they're gaining that awareness of the discernment. They're spying on you. They're watching what you're doing. And they're following their instincts here to know that there are dramatic changes happening in their life right now. So these masculines are starting to come into some type of awareness here in regards to divine feminine energy. We're going to use my tarot deck here. We're going to get a little deeper here. This is the cosmic tarot. This is my own creation. I'm going to take a look here. What is going on with Divine Masculine, please, in the collective? Where is he sitting right now? We're going to also take a look at karmic energies, too, you guys. So this Masculine is waking up. He's starting to recognize this confusion here. It's really the message that I'm getting. And so trying to match, Spirit is saying, spying on 3D um, to the Divine Feminine to see 
if how his actions in the heart, thank you, spirit, how his actions in the heart and the spiritual knowing of this going through this confusion and knowing and then watching the 3D manifestation of how the divine feminine is reacting, okay? The divine feminist, if you're basically completed your healing and you are in mission and you're moving on your way, um, you will feel this shift, but you won't be attached to it, right? It's very important not to become attached to the twin flame journey and to keep your sight on spirit and your healing journey. That is the most important. But this masculine is definitely um, watching and analyzing what it is happening here. Spirit is saying we're going to take the bottom and the top to clarify okay so let's take a look headspace things have been revealed to the divine masculine okay we have the high priestess in reverse the sorceress in my deck things have been revealed he wants to stop fighting this he's done his training he's done and learned his lessons here spirit is saying he's very emotionally imbalanced when he sees what's actually manifesting with divine feminine see these divine feminines have moved forward right this this masculine is kind of in a place of like what do i do now um yeah Knowing that they need to invest, knowing that they need to come in and harvest and um, be with the divine feminine. We have here suppressing the truth. Look at this, this ace of swords in reverse. So this masculine is really aware of what has been happening here. Okay. Um, really looking at the truth of the situation, revealing that and having an enlightenment that they need to manifest this they're seeing the, the flame has ignited in them again they're understanding more of this connection they know they have to end cycles and stop fighting this because that just keeps their confusion intact they, i thought there were plenty more fish in the sea trying to look for options outside of themselves i feel these masculines starting to realize that their divine feminine is actually inside of them they don't need to seek outside of self really and this is why they're spying on divine feminine and <laughs> Being very emotionally balanced, okay, um, in regards to this divine feminine, but it's also that they could be having karmic energies as well. If you're dealing with karmic third party situation, which most uh, twin flame connections are, um, because of the karma and stuff, or this could just be karma, what's happening here is it's also the third party that's buying on divine feminine, but it's also the masculine. Just kind of taking a step back is what I'm seeing and analyzing how it's manifesting with karmic energy and with divine feminine, okay? We also have here wanting to invest in divine feminine. Look at this king. We have a pair here. So wanting to invest here in divine feminine, if you're not dealing with third party, this is about being very um, influenced by what divine feminine has been doing in her life. Um and the power that she's holding. It's causing a lot of instability for this masculine as he's looking on, okay? Um, and he knows that he has to invest. And this could also be, this is also like my third party. Give me another card on that, Queen of Wands, the Spirit. Yeah, justice, karmic justice about um, third party energy. So because in my, just how I read the cards, the Queen of Wands does speak to me as karmic in certain situations. So Spirit is saying that they are realizing the karmic justice and the decisions that they need to make in regards to any third party situation. And they need to act, uh, action that and start investing in where their gut instincts are taking them. This is why there's so many changes in their life right now. Okay, so the truth has been revealed here with Divine Feminine. He, um, yeah, he's coming out of Hermit, coming out of the man cave, coming out of the man cave and realizing what is unrequited love and the depression that they've been feeling this masculine is starting to realize that flame has been lit on the inside i keep getting that message this flame has been lit and so they're coming out of a place of their man cave and their depression i'm not wanting unrequited love anymore they're not fighting it they don't want to fight anymore the confusion they know that that just creates more confusion look at this karmic justice we have the wheel Spirit has come in to stop the fighting and to take a look at the upset of that they're feeling the blockage of the Divine Feminine. They feel the Divine Feminine has completely severed certain things in their life and their energy. It's scaring the crap out of these masculines. That's what I'm getting. They're like, what have I done? This is, I have to put an end to this karma. 
it's caused a lot of confusion in the karma here and this is why they're bringing this justice look at these cards that come out the world the wheel and the and the justice card this is huge karmic cycle that they know that the divine feminine is not playing in karma anymore they heal the karma this divine feminine has healed this karma this is the karmic justice that they're looking at between third party situations what they want their wishes now the nine of cups is not the ten of cups right the nine of cups is your material wealth so they're looking at just their nine of cups and it's kept them stuck their nine of cups has kept them completely stuck so they're spying on divine feminine karmic energy is looking at divine feminine everybody's looking at everybody <laughs> that's what's happening um nobody's making a move why ain't nobody making a move spirit because <laughs> they're trying to untrap themselves from a situation okay Try to untrap themselves and persevere. They're very wounded right now. They know they need to invest in this connection. Damn, it feels good to be back, guys, and channeling this for you. So they, they know that they want to passionately come forward and invest in this. Yeah, but that passion and that in and out, they know, they know that that creates defensive energy. Seven of Wands, okay? That means that they have to stand their ground in, in, with their passion. They can't be back and forth with it. Um, yeah, look at this. And, oh. I must have another Knight of Wands. I make my decks get mixed up, but it's here for a reason. So they know this in and out energy. It's come out twice, right? They know that this defensiveness and this in and out energy, if they're going to invest, they have to use their instincts to bring these changes. Where are these instincts, spirit? Um, yeah, out of their own rejection of blocking their heart, okay? They've rejected things. So this is the massive turmoil and change that's happening right now. I'm taking that night out because I want to put that in the other deck. So yeah, they're going through massive, massive shift. Let's take a look what's going on with masculine energies towards the car. Okay, no, thank you. Spirit wants me. Oh, hey, little man. Stay there. Let's take a look what's going on with karmic energies, first of all. Before we see the relationship between the two, let's take a look what's going on with the karmic person. Because that's really what I'm feeling right now. What are you pulling me towards, Spirit? Yeah, Spirit wants me to use this uh, these two ducks here. Let's take a look. We're going to take a look at the dark energy that they're, the karmic energy is in right now. Spirit wants us to take a look there. They've fallen into a farther, darker place. <sighs> these karmic energies don't know how to heal. So they're reverting back. <clears throat> what I'm getting is like there is a separation that's happened with karmic energies. There's um, I'm getting channeled and being shown... A lot of um, disappointments and fighting. Certain things have ended. Spirit is showing me that the karmic energies are falling deeper into darkness, into the old ways of how they've healed before, because they don't know they don't know how else to heal, and so they're really attaching to exterior gratification. The spirit wanted me to pull out this dark for the karmic, so it's very interesting. Spirit wants me to pull one. Uh, for the karmic and then how the mass well, let's take a look. Let's pull the karmic first, please, spirit. One more. Thank you. All right, so this is where the karmic partner is at. The child I was meant to be, they're having massive inner child issues. This is exactly the case here, guys. Um, the black flower fragrance. See, this is what I was saying. They're falling into their darkness, which is a good thing because these karmic energies have to go back into their darkness to find themselves. This is the lost inner child, right? You have to go back through your traumas to gain access um, to heal those things, right? To gain access to your light again. You you don't get your powers and your abilities until you do your healing. That's it's just it doesn't matter how if you were born with amazing abilities if you haven't healed your lineage. You're not going to be able to access the full potential of those abilities, right? Um, and you'll feel that in your soul because you're like, Fuck, I'm not growing, I'm not growing. So this karmic person has really trying to find their light. We have some illumination here, Spirit is showing, that they're trying to find that inner child and grow that and heal that. Um, they're trying to find their peaceful balance amongst the thorns, Okay. Um, you know, this is also the colorless angel here ending a cycle of their own narcissism. So this karmic person is trying to do their work. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. Um, there's massive jealousy towards the divine feminine is what I'm feeling, but they're trying to not focus on that. 
okay? So let's take a look here. What is going on with the karmic energies right now? Right. Spirit says we're going to do a um, between the masculine and the karmic, and then we're going to see about divine feminine. So let's take a look at these karmic energies right now, too. So remember, guys, the karmic energy is not to get you stuck. This is the energy that's happening in the divine masculine's uh, life. And um, yeah, emotions are really running high right now. So just remember, this is not to be used as an attachment, right? This is to be used as, okay, let's hope that they can grow. Because they deserve happiness too, right? Let's hope that these karmic energies can grow and stay in their lane and learn about themselves and heal and get out of the and get out of other people's lanes, you know? All right, let's take a look. They're healing their inner child. So they're going back in. They're trying to gain full, full illumination. They know in their mind they need to do this. Their commitment to themselves are being tested, okay? So whatever is happening with this karmic energy with the masculine energy we're going to get a response okay so spirits like let's shuffle let's get these out and we're going to see the masculine's response okay okay because their spirit is saying they're triggering each other right now right because that's what karma does right it brings up your healing in a really <coughs> excuse me big way so emotions uh, your commitments being tested these karmic energies are really being tested with their inner child healing the energy is gaining momentum so that they can find their light in the midst of this darkness a fiery climax approaches here okay so in their heart space they know that the energy that they're doing in their healing is gaining momentum they're starting to see something change within themselves they're trying to hold a peaceful place within themselves and a fiery climax is approaching. So there's something huge that's happening with this karmic energy. Um, and they know that they're starting to see this colorless angel within themselves. How they have been narcissistic. How they have been selfish. How they didn't think about children. I'm seeing children in the mix. They didn't think about mission. They didn't think about the planet. They didn't think about um, humanity. That they were only thinking about... <laughs> Spirit is like, they're only thinking about opening their legs. That's basically where the energy first started and the intention. That's what spirit is showing, right? They're showing me this person's legs. Like they got to keep those legs closed, right? Because sexuality is a very sacred thing. You just, you just don't go by those urges because it feels good. You know what I'm saying? So there's massive adjustments in how they're looking at love and relationships as well. Now spirit wants me to pull in regards to how this is, how the masculine is triggering this karmic into their growth and vice versa. So we're going to pull some of those dark cards too for the masculine energy. This is interesting. Oh, the spirit guides. God, it feels so good to be back doing you guys some readings. You guys, amazing. So let's take a look. How's the masculine responding here, spirit? So, wow, forgetting oneself. So when the masculine forgets themselves, okay, when they get lost, this masculine has realized they've gotten lost in this connection. As they've been finding themselves, this karmic energy, it's, it's, it's testing them to choose their own inner child healing. Okay, because this masculine has been pulling away. Okay, so Spirit's like, let's get the rest out before we channel. This is interesting. The Spirit has changed things a little bit with me since my illness. Hmm, very interesting, okay. So, huh. Calling the storm, wow. Okay, we have sacrifice, wow. That's what's happening here. This masculine is sacrificing this connection and the outcome. So it's, a, it's definitely pushing this karmic energy into some massive growth. Obsession, wow. They may have been obsessed with this card. That's what karmic energies do. It's a, it's not the same way that twins obsess about each other because twins is more about a longing and knowing that deep in your gut. Whereas karmic obsession, alien love bites, if you look up those terms, um, are more about desperation and pain. It's just so painful. And this, this masculine is starting to recognize that. So what I'm seeing here, okay, so let's get the other cards out and then we'll... We'll do that because what I'm seeing here is like how they found themselves again. It's triggering um, 
the they're pulling away from the karma karmic person that they're, they're feeling the energy the inner child is being triggered in the karmic energy to grow in the heart space they've gained they're calling in the storm so they're willing to do what they need to do to grow and heal and it's bringing in a lot of changes the energy is gaining momentum it's forcing the karmic person to go into their own darkness and how to heal it themselves without attaching to masculine energy this masculine has gained enlightenment see how that it's very similar you guys i'm just going to pull that card out again when we did the these ones remember this is start showing me this see remember when the masculine had this light here he's had an awakening look how this light is shining and that flame has been ignited this masculine knows that he has to sacrifice this connection okay that that's what you have to offer your your ego to the gods you know you have to give up uh to gain your abundance right everything's hard work man and so this sacrifice is creating a massive climax here that's happening and this this karmic person is trying to hold that peace during that time this masculine's obsession recognizing the obsession of this sex thing because she's closed her legs uh the, that there's massive adjustments whatever this karmic partner used all right or whatever their trauma bond was it's created this obsession and this masculine is aware of it so let's see what's going on with masculine energy it's a response to the karmic energy thank you we're gonna put uh i'm not gonna clarify this we're gonna just do oracle here we're gonna do a tarot read between karmic and masculine and then we're gonna do uh between masculine and divine feminine all right can i have four please spirit so forgetting oneself heart space thank you actions and outcome wow this is a very powerful you guys all right wow Wow, 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 wow. All right. So, a lot of purples happening here too. So a lot of crown chakra stuff. So this masculine here is the time for healing. He's been healing himself, forgetting oneself. He's healing himself. This is perfect. It's exactly what I was saying. It's a validation in that reading, right? He forgot himself. He found himself. And what's that doing? It's forcing now the karmic energy to pull back and to heal their inner child wounds. This calling in the storm, step out of your comfort zone. This masculine had to end certain behavior, certain ways of being, certain mind patterns, certain belief systems. And that's created a momentum to force the karmic energy into their own darkness to start healing themselves. This powerful change, because there's they gained an enlightenment here, is causing a fiery climax here. This karmic partner is doing very well in this. I'll have to say they are starting to realize what's actually happening is what I'm getting here, okay? They're starting to see, thank you, Spirit. Father God is like telling me they're seeing the light of God. They're seeing how Spirit works. That's a, a huge revelation for this karmic energy. They thought that they could just manifest whatever they want and God would just see suit. But they're starting to see the higher power and how to become humbled in that. That's beautiful, guys. You want the karmic energies to do that, okay? They're, this masculine sacrificing this connection with the karmic energy is expecting powerful change. It's, it's powerful. A fiery climax is happening here. And they're taking time now to deal with this obsession to see their own issues and this karmic energy has to realize their own adjustments have to be required because whatever they've done in the past, however they've hung on to this connection, whatever they've used, it's not working anymore. There's no, um, there's nothing holding it together anymore. Wow, 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 guys. All right. <clears throat> that's the energy that's going on there. Let's go a little deeper with the karmic and, <coughs> sorry guys, and the divine masculine. <clears throat> Let's take a look and see what exactly is going on in regards to their connection. Let's do some tarot. Don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe. If you're liking this, comment down below. Feels so good to be back. Oh, my gosh. I'll see how I feel 
I really want I want to I don't want to make promises about the zodiac readings but I'm gonna see how I feel come the weekend and maybe I'll be able to get them out next week we'll see how my breathing keeps improving let's take a look what's going on between the divine masculine and the karmic energies a lot of instability here guys masculine is very unstable with his money structure foundation thank you spirit put that back Let's take a look. This is the energy coming down from the heavens about swift action, okay, between them. And the connection between the two is getting very honest with each other. So there's a lot of truth coming out between masculine and karmic energies. Five of Cups, Headspace, Karmic Energies, Four of Swords reversed. Heart Space, Masculine towards the Karmic, the Moon, Karmic Energies, Heart Space, Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's a little can't handle it anymore can you it's a little burdensome action to my masculine's moving on karmic feeling trapped wow okay outcome not giving to the situation six of pentacles reverse <coughs> wow okay <coughs> what i'm seeing here is masculine's having a lot of regret in regards to the karmic energies uh this karmic energy is done trying to heal this situation there's a lot of swift movement of getting very honest with each other okay this masculine's in full of regret of what's happened why is he re regretful about the karmic like, who cares i'm sorry <laughs> it's like learn your lessons and move on it's not for you like can we just move on now people get so trapped in the emotional realm we have to learn how to transcend the emotional realm right we have to realize that feelings of lower frequency you don't you don't need to entertain them heal them let them pass through you refocus right this is about regrets of knowing that they want to um return to the past what is this returning to the past yeah they want to return to the past they have regrets over divine feminine because that's their ten of cups right so they want to move forward and this is not healing for the karmic energies because this is happening swiftly truths are coming out and this karmic energy doesn't want this to end they're trying to delay an ending because the separation is 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 happening um is ending between divine feminine and divine masculine what's happening is they don't want to heal they're done healing this and they and they want to come out of their own pain about delaying this it's a delay they're done their healing right they've got a new beginning coming here right this masculine here is hiding things in his heart towards the karmic energy they're hiding their sadness right they've been depressed yeah and they're seeing very clearly why they've been depressed because they have to take control of this situation and this heart space for the karmic energy is just very burdensome they you know this karmic doesn't want to deal with this anymore look they think it's toxic they of course they do they think the entire twin flame journey is a toxic thing so they it's a burden it's become too toxic for them they want a new beginning themselves so yeah this masculine is definitely taking off. See how the horse is running in the opposite direction, away from the karmic energy? Yeah. To clean up any betrayals that they may have caused in the past, right? With the Divine Feminine. Look at this. <coughs> they know that they have to clean up the betrayal. They know they treated the... Yeah, it's their wish to come forward um, to heal the instability in the Divine Feminine and to move forward. And this karmic partner's trapped by that because they can't, you know, because of all the investment they've put in. Yeah, well, that's just too bad. It doesn't matter what investment you put in the 3D world. You have to put investment into your path, into your mission. You have to put investment into your relationship with spirit. That's the only way that you heal and that you gain access to your true abundance. But this karmic energy doesn't understand that. They're in the whole new age dogma of like, if I just focus on vision and manifest, I can make it happen. But that's like in a form of attachment of manifestation. That's... That's how new age dogma starts. And this is why we, people keep getting stuck in loops. That's not how you actually properly manifest. You have to peel the layers back. And they're trapped in their own um, headspace that, well, I invested. They're still attached to this, right? <sighs> yeah. But they're learning their lessons. God is coming in and helping them. So they're learning about the lessons of their attached self and why they've been suppressing their own truths. So this is really good. This karmic energy is learning, okay? So masculine is like, I can't give 
to a situation anymore, to the karmic energy. I can't give to this love. It's unrequited love. It's non-reciprocal. Look at this. It keeps me blocked from my destiny. That's how they came out. The lovers with the king of cups in reverse with the star. Okay, so this is like the love and being blocked from true love and their destiny because it's non-reciprocal. This masculine is completely aware. Listen, this masculine is planning something, you guys. We're going to take a look and see what the masculine is planning or looking towards divine feminine. Um, let's hope they can make it right, guys, right? I never say if your masculine comes back, you know, if he's humble to God, you'll know. If he's not, you got to keep your boundaries up. You, Divine Family, just make sure that he is authentic as hell, right? You love yourself too much to know that you can't go back to old ways of being, right? If my twin ever came back, he has some damn explaining friggin' do, let me tell you. That ain't gonna be an easy path, let me tell you. When you come into queen stature, empress stature, you know you're damn worth. You know what's happening. I can't tell you the way my, my path is opening, you guys, now. About building in Guyana and creating my mission and the connections I'm making. It's insane. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so keep going. Keep going with your healing journey. This karmic energy is like, I don't want to work on this anymore. They're not focused on it anymore. They're seeing what's happening. They're abandoned. They're in their abandonment. <coughs> They're trying to hold their strength. <coughs> I give them credit, right? <clears throat> They're still abandoned in this, but they're, sorry, guys, my breathing. <coughs> They're trying to hold their strength in this completely and their own abandonment. They're seeing their abandonment. That was the inner child stuff that we saw, right? Yeah, look at that. As I'm seeing inner child, the six of cups, right? They're dealing with their inner child stuff. They have to go back to that. So this whole situation with the karmic energy, it's really beautiful. This karmic is learning. This masculine is learning. Let's take a look at the what's what truth has been revealed on the masculine side to the karmic. Wow. The high priestess, he's revealed things. What is this masculine revealed? About his narcissistic ways that he needs to persevere things that he hasn't actioned in the past. What else? Yeah, he's coming out of his man cave. And what is this honesty with the karmic partner, um, the karmic energies in regards to what was about this stability? They want the stability. They That's the only reason they were with this masculine. Yeah. The third party energies had to end. <clears throat> they they realized that for him to gain his stability. This karmic energy knows that whatever connection they had had to end for this masculine stability. Because there's a defensive energy now they're they're having. There's a lot of pain. Uh, this masculine standing their ground and has revealed things. And they want the stability, right? Yeah, they're so afraid of this change that's happening right now. With their foundation and their home but whatever like i'm sorry because any karmic energies divine feminines always go through a thousand times worse than any karmic partner has ever gone through that's just how it is people have certain contracts when they come down and they have to play certain roles based on what their contract is with the creator and this was their role it's over now let's take a look let's take a look and see what's going on with masculine and divine feminine energy spirit all right spirit wants me to pull some oracles here because masculine really wants to talk to divine feminine i'm really feeling that wow okay let's see what do you want to say masculine <coughs> yeah we'll use these two all right let's take a look masculine wants to talk to divine feminine right now that's what i'm getting what is going on with the masculine energy towards divine feminine? What is masculine? <laughs> this masculine is very remorseful. I'm going to be honest, you guys, okay? These masculines are waking up. They're trying to plan. Let's see. What's going on with divine masculine towards the divine feminine right now, spirit? What is this energy that I'm picking up on? What did I say? I want a new beginning, baby. I want to heal. Yeah, well, prove yourself. Prove yourself. Look at this health. Their health is being affected. Okay. Their mental health. Their, yeah, they love the divine feminine. Wow, 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 guys. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what else. As I flip the bottom of this deck, I haven't even, look at this, new life. Okay, so 
They want new beginnings, healing, new life with divine feminine. They want to heal. They want to love. They, they want all of it. Well, let's see. Are you a king or are you just a little boy still? What are you? Are you an emperor? Can you rule your kingdom? Can you stand up against the world and humanity and know divine truth of love? All right, divine feminines, you make sure your masculines, they come back, right? You are empress status now, you know? I love my divine feminines. I love my divine feminines. Let's take a look. You are the temples. You are the real healers of this planet, my divine feminines. What is a masculine towards the divine feminine? Wanting new beginning. Okay, spirit's up. Let's just shuffle that again. New beginnings. They're observing. Healing. They want to heal divine feminine. Yin energy, guys. Their health is being affected. Oh my God, yang energy. <coughs> Look at this balance that's happening with divine masculine. With the divine feminine. They are understanding this, okay? It's good they're having the awareness. Let's see what their actions do. Um, <laughs> you kind of have to, you guys gotta have to be kind of like detached that way. And I was like, yeah, let's see, prove it. Because you guys deserve someone that's going to prove it to you. You know, because they got to prove it to themselves that they can, that they can be these warriors. Um, their health is being affected. This masculine's health, the yang energy is here. So they know the healing is with the divine feminine. They will not get better until they heal with divine feminine. <laughs> they love the divine feminine never ending story they know this love is never ending they will never be able to run from it they will never be able to wow they're observing this new beginning they're planning they're trying to put things in place here is what i'm getting um i want to use my shaman deck let's take a look We'll get some healing messages for Divine Feminine at the end here, but this masculine wants something. So in the energies, they're definitely playing this out in their mind. Let's see what they're observing exactly. Because, like, how much you got to observe? Like, you know, how much you gotta, look at this. Did you guys see that flip? Rewind. Did you see that Ace of Pentacles? Spirit tells me to take it. We're putting it right there. New beginnings. This masculine really wants a new beginning with these Divine Feminines. Well, let's see if they're, are they worthy enough of your divine feminines? Let's take a look. <clears throat> All right. What is this new beginning that the divine masculine is, <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys, observing towards the divine feminine? What are they observing exactly? They're watching, they're spying on you, right? See, they're not offering anything right now. They're not coming forward with their cup because they're ending toxicity. We've got the king of pentacles. Look at this divine feminine in the distance. We have them watching. Are they watching you? It doesn't matter if you've blocked them, you guys. They can create whatever accounts, right? <laughs> They're watching Divine Feminine. They're not ready to offer anything as of yet. They're gaining their stability to, aim, to end the toxicity in their life, okay? So <laughs> they're watching. What are they watching? Why are they watching? They didn't want you, Divine Feminine. They're watching about this new love. You didn't want me, remember? <laughs> remember i was too intense for you <laughs> um so they're they're watching this um new love they're watching divine feminine they want new beginnings of the divine feminine <coughs> this masculine spirit is telling me that they are we're gonna put some kipper this masculine is determined as hell let me tell you let me tell you <coughs> <coughs> okay, let's look at the healing. They want to heal with divine feminine here, right? They want to heal with the, the feminine. They know the feminine has the healing energies. Look at this, the four of cups. They're having massive regret that they didn't take the cup of love from God, you know? They're looking about what they've what they've lost with her, with the divine feminine. Yeah, they pulled back and went into their man cave and really looked at what they lost. They had to know what they had to lose with you, divine feminine, right? They had to see the truth of what's actually happening with karmic energies, with family members, with people in their life. And they had to see the contrast. And then it almost seems like divine feminine seems like so up there, you know, because masculines usually put the feminines on a pedestal um, that they get scared of the connection. That's like the next bit. 
of the twin flame journey but they've gone within and looked at this look at this they want to end separation they're done their healing they know about the regrets they know they want to heal so they know their health is being affected in their masculine energy that's why they want to heal with divine feminine do you see that synchronicity there look at this king of cups right look at this ten of cups in reverse they know they have to do this healing in order to get that tenth cup it's not available yet they're also not bringing that tenth cup here with that knight of that knight of cups in reverse right so they're observing they're they want to end the toxicity so they want to come forward with this 10th cup. They know that they have to bring that 10th cup to the Divine Feminine, right? They know this Divine Feminine ain't coming anywhere near her masculine. <laughs> they know. Yeah, they've had to end traditional ways. They know this isn't traditional. They had to end a marriage, right? It was affecting their health. They, they were stuck because they weren't willing to look at... It's the night of... Um, sorry, guys. Give me a minute. <clears throat> it's a knight of um pentacles in reverse right so they're stuck they're stuck in what was having to be healed here and ending this type of um non-traditional like learning their lessons and ending things because they know that this is a very non-traditional type of connection and this it was keeping them stuck away from their 10th cup as well so they know that this is a never-ending love and it's kind of funny because they tried to fight this. Like, look at this person sitting on the hourglass. Like, is it ever, am I ever never not going to be able to love this, this divine feminine? And Spirit's like, no, ha ha. Do you know? Spirit's also saying, you know, divine feminine at the beginning. When you were going through your activation and your process and that healing and all of that, Spirit is saying, they are now in that place of despair and knowing now what's actually happened, Right? So, yeah, karma came and bit, the, bit them in the butt, and they've had to be humbled. They are very humbled right now. It's a good space to be. you got to be humbled to know spirit, right? Yeah, look at this. The end of the relationship with the karmic partner. Look at this. The never-ending story with the karmic energy and the abandonment issues that they've had. They've had to look at their own abandonment issues and what love is, and this never-ending story with the karmic energies that they have to end it in order to be in a true love situation with the divine feminine because that love never ends the karmic energy never ends because it's it destroys them it creates this health issue and then they realize the love that contrast has shown them the love of the divine feminine that that never ends look at this wow the star with the fool they want a new beginning and destined love with divine feminine they end the relationship with karmic energy they've been they've working through their abandonment issues for a new beginning. <sighs> All right, let's clarify the cover a little bit deeper. And then we're going to get some, yeah, then we're going to get some info for Divine Feminine, some healing messages at the end. If you guys are still with me, don't forget to like this video. Really, it really helps the energies to come back around. And I'd love to hear your comments, guys. It's good to be back. It's good to be back and channeling again and working. <coughs> All right. Let's take a look. What is going on with masculine towards the divine feminine? So he wants this new beginning. Okay, spirit. So he's not offering anything yet. He's ending karmic situations. He knows that his divine feminine is there. So he wants a new beginning here. He's thinking about it a lot in his headspace. About courting. Be wow. Taking control could be an entrepreneur, could own his own business, could be high up in his profession, whatever that is. But really taking um, the becoming the boss to observe and how to create this new beginning with Divine Feminine to court a mature woman. Yeah, and they should. You are so mature, Divine Feminine. You don't deserve man children, right? So... <laughs> They're going to try. They're going to try. They want to heal here. They want to end separation and come forward. They're, they're, they are they're have to pull back, but they, they're done their healing. And they know that this healing, new beginning, is with Divine Feminine. And they feel that in their heart. They know that. They know whatever they've been going through, Divine Feminine can help heal. Yeah. <coughs> their concern is, is if Divine Feminine is going to work with them, right? 
They're having concern in their heart about this because they know how they treated the Divine Feminine. They know. They ain't dumb. This is that Four of Cups there, right? Or they didn't take the cup because, yeah, everyone has free will, but they could have they could have chosen the free will to heal with Divine Feminine and follow God and follow Spirit. But they didn't. They wanted to go the hard route. So Divine Feminine, you're in a position now, you know. Um, we're going to do some healing messages for you. But they, they see now in their heart how you were the sudden surprise. You were the abundance and the wealth. And Spirit was giving the opportunity to to work with them and they're concerned now like are they going to come for are they going to work with me for this abundance let's see the concern clarify the concern a little bit more oopsie on the ground wow their inner child could be about children too but they're concerned about their family their home their children um how that may affect them and how this work is changing is going to change their lives but they're they're concerned um, even about their own inner child healing. Clarify a little more about that, please, Spirit. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's about children that they have with a karmic partner, the false person. Maybe this person is pregnant. Maybe they don't know how the divine feminine is going to deal with that. Maybe there's other children in the mix. Um, could be the inner child healing that the, the, the karmic partner is doing. And they don't know if this karmic partner is going to cause drama like they always do because they're dramatic and unawakened. So <laughs> they're having concerns about a lot of family stuff. So that's another thing they're trying to sort out in their heart at this time. Okay. So their health is very being much being affected. They've been stuck. And yeah, well, all these came out. So let's take a look. Yeah, they have to come into a place of maturity in love, okay? They've been working very, very diligently on their lack consciousness of what they've lost, and they want a new journey with this Divine Feminine here. They realize the loss, right? They want to start a new beginning in destiny. They've ended things with the karmic partner. Okay, I think they're worried about the drama of this karmic partner, to be honest. I think this person's dramatic. Um, yeah, they put in because they need to put an end to their bad health. Look at this. This masculine is not in a healthy place, all right? They know they can't heal until they come clean to Divine Feminine. Wow. Let's get some messages for Divine Feminine, you guys. That is some intense energies. They're seriously thinking about you, you guys. And if you've been feeling your masculine, um, yeah, this is, this is what's happening. <laughs> this is what's happening. Well... As long as you guys don't attach, right? Just keep loving spirit, being in your place. Let's see what spirit has to say for Divine Feminines. All right, and then we'll do some messages for you guys. Can we have some healing messages for Divine Feminine, please? Some healing messages for Divine Feminine spirit. What would you like to tell the Divine Feminines in the collective today? Ha <laughs> Wait, Divine Feminines, just wait, okay? It's not time yet, but things are being woven. This is what's happening in the energy. This is exactly what's happening. Things are happening in your favor, okay? Think of the big picture of thinking. They're telling me there are other people involved in their soul tribe, right? It's not just you and your twin. There's other things that are happening in the collective in regards to this. The Spirit wants me to pull romance angels for you. So, um... Just wait on this because there's something happening. There's like I'm seeing all the different puzzle pieces coming together um, because they want you to have it all, right? Mission, love, marriage, um, helping humanity, all of those things together. So this is really, this is a portal that's opening up here. See, this is like God working here, spirit working, the energy is working in the ethers to pull it all together for you to be able to walk through that portal. So you're getting, the veil is being lifted bit by bit divine feminine okay so spirit wants you to know that this is what's happening in love and the energies here advice for divine feminine yeah see this is inner child healing that's happening here children are involved here there are romantic feelings that have been ignited here <coughs> reignited in the connection here healing that inner child bringing the innocence back so that's what's happening in the background here with these energies. Let's see if we can get a time frame on it. For Divine Feminine, please. 
Can we get a time frame for Divine Feminines, please? Yeah. Spirit is saying, see, this is your soul tribe. That's exactly what I'm getting. Okay. This is your, so right now it's no. Don't stop right now, Divine Feminine, because it's not the right time, right? There's going to be a peaceful resolution. Don't stop what you're doing. There's helpful people that are here. So spirit is bringing together the tribe. That's what I was feeling. It's bringing the tribe. It's it's alchemizing things. It's bringing everybody that's meant to be in this calling and to try and pull you guys together. Okay. So that's really what spirit wanted to say there. So let me see. Yeah. What else? They want me to pull a bunch of oracles here today for you divine feminines. So let's take a look. What else for divine feminine, please? What other healing messages do you have for divine feminine? Yeah, so things are working out. Karmic justice is happening in the energies. You just can't see it right now, okay? You're, you're going to be, look at this. The truth, look at this, divine love is happening in your favor, divine feminine. The truth will be coming out, okay? So don't worry about that. We have a seven, a four, and a four, okay? Two fours on either side, which is stability, okay, which is foundation. You will become into awareness. This is divine feminine, okay? You're sitting, things are shaded right now. You are not seeing all of it, okay? But it is be the truth is being revealed. Start trusting the intuition and the signs that you're getting on your path and keep going spirit wants me to pull a spirit animal for you and then we're going to do some divine messages for you okay so yeah this is all about divine love so spirit is like they're, they're everything is happening in the background so right now no you gotta wait right for things to come about what animals should divine feminines be working with this week spirit thank you the otter okay you need to look at otters mate for life. They're really beautiful, okay? And the vulture. Now, vultures are really beautiful here because vultures, people think they're scavengers, but vultures are the, ob the observe. They move away from the emotional realm, right? This is what I'm getting from spirit. You move away, you have a high view of what's happening, and you go in when you know it's safe for you <coughs> to... Um, clean up the things in your life that you still need to do so there's still some healing and some cleaning up that you need to do in your life observe where your emotional tendencies are that are pulling you into an attached form right that's keeping you in a place of suffering and to be that vulture and to recognize that because this is about divine partnership this is about otters otters are beautiful together right this is about being in the emotions being in the water um and being okay with the way that the water flows for you so as you're healing this is going to be unveiled more and more and more for you divine feminine so keep moving forward okay all right let's take a look at the messages for your masculine towards you and the feminine towards the masculine and that will be your reading don't forget to like and share and subscribe and comment you guys this is my deck they're called mirrored messages they're not for sale yet but they will be i promise you they will be <laughs> let's take a look what would the divine masculine like to say to the divine feminine to close off our reading for this timeless weekly energy update please what is going on with the balance of divine masculine and divine feminine what would the masculine like to say to the divine feminine right now if he could say anything what would he say <clears throat> let's see what energy he sees he's feeling divine feminine energy okay he's sitting a lot in his darkness though so mind space he is definitely in, in the mind of connecting to the divine feminine in his mind. And he's saying, I can't stop thinking about you. It's like you are here beside me. It's driving me a bit bonkers. So they're really connected to divine feminine. They're thinking of the divine feminine. They're feeling divine feminine. Um, yeah, and so they're really feeling this completely. In their heart space towards divine feminine, I'm doing everything in my power so we can align perfectly. I am trusting in divine timing. Okay, 
So they're feeling this and they're trusting in spirit. Their actions are, I'm in a dark place and I can't handle your words right now. So they're not ready to come forward. That's why we saw in the reading that they're still not offering a cup. They're still dealing with other stuff. They're ob observing, they're planning, they're trying to figure things out right now. Okay, and in their outcome, I'm done with old energy. I am burning it all down. It is the only way to make room for my queen. So this masculine energy is very aware of what they need to do. So they're in a place of massive healing, taking things down, um, dealing with their own pains, not being ready to come forward yet, but really trying to figure out what's going on in their life. Let's see messages of the Divine Feminine towards the Masculine. Divine Feminine would say to the Masculine, please. What would Divine Feminine say to the Masculine? One for each, can I have four cards too, please? Okay, well, divine, both of y'all <laughs> are in the same energies, okay? So, feminine is actioning her feminine energy here. Do you see? She's mostly in her masculine. So, there's a lot of masculine energy playing out between the two, okay? So, divine feminine, in response, the masculine thinks of you. He can't stop thinking about you. He's thinking of divine feminine. He's feeling divine feminine. He's understanding that in his headspace. Divine Feminine is saying, you are the only one who can unlock my heart. So Divine Feminine knows that this masculine is the only one that can unlock her heart. Um, she's she's gained that understanding and she understands that. So this is, <laughs> it's making the Divine Masculine think of her even more, right? In the heart space, this feminine is saying, I remember every word you said to me. I'm applying everything you told me to my life. So she's looking back at the connection and where to gain that healing in herself. She's taking massive action in her heart space with the masculine energy. So masculine is feeling masculine energy as well within towards the divine feminine. And he's surrendering things in the heart space. Divine feminine is, is now applying what she needs to apply in her heart space to move forward. Divine feminine in her actions is in actioning divine feminine energy, however, and it says, I love you in all ways and all forms, including how I love God. So she's actioning spirit and her path and she's being in that divine feminine place. Um, and because of that, it's triggering a lot with the masculine here. It's in a dark place. He can't handle um, his action, uh, the words or anything like that, because he's still going through that regretful place, right? He's got to learn to forgive himself and divine feminine here is acknowledging the masculine here and saying to the masculine, it was never you, it was always me. I ran because I didn't know how to explain something. I couldn't grasp in all honesty. You awakened me out of a deep slumber. I couldn't articulate what I was experiencing. When Then I felt ridiculous as more time went on, my self-worth and inadequate feelings were created, a ne created a never-ending loop of self-deprecation. <laughs> And so because of this, this feminine may realize this is what's happened with this masculine, but this feminine is also aware that she doesn't want to put up with that. Um, and this is why this masculine is also burning things down now. So feminine is also realizing in her own masculine energy in the past um, where she was also stuck in certain patterns as well. So both have been doing a lot of work. There's a lot of balancing out that's happening here. I love seeing how they're both working on masculine energy and they're they're trying to heal that feminine side as well with feminine actioning love and masculine thinking about the feminine. So it's really beautiful because when masculine thinks of feminine, right? Feminine actions, feminine. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, guys, that is your reading. So much love to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your comments and we'll see you guys soon. If you want to work with me, all that stuff's down below. Bye, guys.